Hi guys, I wanted to just to talk about Neo Geo MVS collecting briefly. Um, I actually think it's it's uh, it's a lot more pleasing to collect MVS MVS kits than it is AES AES games. Um, I mean, I started collecting AES games very early on, um, about fifteen years ago, and even then they were very expensive. Now they're just unattainable, and for the prices, it's it's just not worth it. So Neo, I have Neo Geo CD games, uh, I do collect them, but MVS, getting MVS kits is pretty pleasing. Um, it does feel a lot better when you put the MVS car in, actually play the MVS car through a CRT. It, it does sound better, it plays better. Um, of course, I, I normally just play these from an emulated, uh, on, on the Wii Virtual Console or, or emulated, but, um, so this is my MVS collection. So for example, I've got every single uh, cartridge here um, that you can see I've got the uh, the MVS kit I stored and displayed them in there I don't really want to disturb them too much um, and there's also one up there uh, with my uh, with a small Neo Geo AES and CD collection um, however these are the the complete kits I've got um, this one is uh, Metal Slug 4, World Soccer 96, King of Fighters 2003, um, Samurai Showdown 5, Shock Troopers only came out on the uh, on the MVS as far as I know, um, and possibly the AAS, did not come out on the CD, King of Fighters 97, original Metal Slug, um, Neo Drift Out, amazing, really nice game, came out on Neo Geo CD as well. Uh, Super Dodgeball, very rare release, didn't see a CD release. I don't think this actually got an AES release. I'm not sure. Very nice, very good game. Goal, goal, goal. And um, Metal Slug X, which is a, a rehash of the original Metal Metal Slug 2. Uh, this came out on the AES as well, didn't come out on the CD. Um, and this has got the special blue card. So I actually bought this one from neostore.com. Metal Slug S. Now every single um, uh, MVS uh, cart and, and kit that I've got, for me, just the way that I collect them, it has to have a matching serial number. So it has to be the matching serial number um, and that it's therefore, it, it's as close as to the original um, uh, kit as possible. Um, one of the other things is, in the beginning, I thought I could just print these labels myself and put them into the carts, but I started realizing they were leaving a residue. So you have to use a, a specific type of paper to print these. I actually just get these um, shock boxes and the uh, uh, the inserts printed through Southtown Homebrew in the US, and they just ship them over there. They use the correct paper, the correct ink, and it doesn't leave a residue. And I would recommend you use them. Um, I think it's like three dollars to print. Uh, and the the shock boxes are twelve dollars each, so just get get a load of them from there and get them sent over. Uh, and you can display the games in the in the shock boxes, and they look absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, it's it's so nice to have these on display and be able to just take one out, and I just insert them into a uh, into a CMVS that I've got down here, um, and here it's just under there, and I can just play them on my CRT. Uh, the next game I've got coming is uh, Street Hoop where I've uh, I've already uh, jumped the gun and uh, got the shock box already waiting for the game to arrive. So hopefully that will come very soon. So I just wanted to show you my uh, quick, uh, my my brief and very small um, MVS collection. Let me know uh, if you're into MVS or Neo Geo collecting. I think a few of you are, but yeah, it's it's stuff that I can't get rid of. It's, it's I've been collecting some of these for at least 10 years and I just, I have stopped for a while. I haven't bought one of these for about five years, but recently just found a nice copy of Street Hoops, which I'll be, which I'll be uh, showing when it arrives as well. Thanks everyone. Cheers.